How much power does an electric frying pan use if it has a resistance of 12 ohms and operates on 120 volts? So the first thing we have to think about is what is power? Power is a rate of energy use here. In this case, uh, it is defined as work over time. And so it's a rate. The energy you use uh, in a certain amount of time is the power. And so how do we figure that out from 12 ohms and 120 volts? Well, we need to think back on uh, some other formulas that we know. Recall that in circuits here that we have a formula for work, which is VIT. We did an example with that one in a previous video. And so that's sort of there, right? We have a voltage in there, great. Uh, and we have a uh, resistance, which is not in there. Um, but this isn't a rate. This is just the amount of work. But I can put that into this formula and say then, Instead of work, I'll put VIT, and then look at that, it's over time. And so that disappears, and we have a new formula for power in a circuit, which is just the voltage times the current. Uh, remember that power is a rate, and so the time didn't actually go away. It's built into the current, which is uh, Q over T. So if you wanted to write this V times Q over T, you know, the T is still there, uh, which is, again, built into the current. So we are still talking about a rate of energy use here. So I look at this, okay, great, that solves one of my problems, but it does not give me a resistor. Well, as it turns out, there are three versions of this power formula if we take into account what we know from Ohm's law. And so I can take Ohm's law here and say, instead of V, I'm gonna put IR in there. And so I have a second then formula, power will be V in the form of IR times I, which is I squared uh, R. And so we have a second version of the power formula for circuits here. Again, this is not what we need though, because we now, okay, great, there's some resistance, but we've lost our voltage, which is current, which we don't know uh, anything about here. And so if I had have asked this question where it was some current and some resistance, we could use that. If I'd asked a question that told us the current and the voltage, we could have used this, but I didn't. This question is asking about the resistance and the voltage. And it turns out we can use Ohm's law again and rearrange for R here, R is V over I. And so if I put that into the, uh, uh, into the um, formula here, sorry, this is I is V over R. And if I put that into the formula here, I get power is voltage times voltage all over R. There's my I. And I get V squared over R for a third Formula. So these are the three versions of the power formula that you use when solving power in circuits. Um, you can see that this has every combination of things that are in Ohm's law. So if you've solved your circuit uh, using Kirchhoff's laws and Ohm's laws, and then the next question is, well, how much power are these resistors using? Remember, the resistors are things like your hair dryer, uh, your computer, whatever you're plugging into the wall or using a battery is essentially, uh, you can break that down to be one big resistor um, that's using uh, the energy here. So if you know all those things from your circuit, then you can just use one of these three formulas depending on the two things that you have in order to solve for power. So in this question, we have a resistance and we have a voltage. So I'm going to use this formula here uh, with V squared over R for power. And so V squared over R is the important one. And again, if you just remember this formula and this formula, you have all of those. I guess you need this formula too. Um, but all those are come out of formulas you've seen before. So this gives us 120 volts squared all over 12. These are nice numbers, right? That gives me 144.00 here. So Volt squared divided by 12. That's volt squared divided by 12 ohms, which when we divide that out will give us watts. We divide those two numbers and we get 1200 watts, which remember is a joule per second. Uh, or if you wanted to write it another way, 1.2 kilowatts, which you might recall from hearing your power bill is in kilowatt hours, which again, if you take the watts, or sorry, the power, and times it by time, so your kilowatts times your time, you get energy back out, which is how you are built. That's how you use the power formulas. Uh, 
I'm not going to do one of each of these, uh, but they're all as simple as that. Just pick the two things that you, you have from Ohm's Law and put them together appropriately to figure out the power.